All right. So thanks, everybody, for your patience the other day. And for those joining us who don't know, we're going to do a chip bag. This is my chip bag that I already created. I am going to take you from start to finish on this one. And let's get started. So first, I'm going to open up my file. And I usually keep this saved somewhere locally. But I'm just going to open it up here because I've already opened it up recently. There's no need to rewrite the reel for this one. All right, just let it open. It's working. And again, our theme is 90s. Um, it's some, you know, craziness going on here. It looks like a lot, but that's just my style. You get to make your chip bag however you want to make it. So here we are. All right. So this is our chip bag copy. And I'm going to work middle, left, right, top. So first, I'm going to uh, bring in the middle. This is how I work. Once I have the middle done, I'm usually pretty good. So I'm going to fill this with the background. And I'm going to go shape, fill, picture. I already have my files that I want to use in a folder on my computer. So I'm going to go from file. And I'm going to select my background. I'm going to use the same background that I used previously. If you watch the invitation video. And that is this background. Wonderful. I'm going to insert a shape because that's what I'm going to have as my visual. And I like trying to find a good shape that mirrors what I'm doing. I like this one. So I'm just going to draw it out. Wonderful. I may make it a little larger just to take up some space there. All right. So center that. I'm going to fill this shape with a unique color. I would like a hot pink. And you can choose whatever color you would like or even put in the colors here. That looks good to me. All right. So then I'm going to give it an outline, a stroke. Um, I want the outline to actually be purple. So I don't like those purples. I'm going to go again and get, yeah, that purple looks good to me. Let's see how it is. Yeah, that looks good. It's just not weighted enough for me. So I'm going to go six point. Yes, perfect. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to draw a text box to write out the happy birthday. Ah, come on. All right, here we go. Draw a text box. And I'm just going to write happy birthday. You see, you cannot see it right now. It is black. I want to change it to the pink color, and you'll see why. I'm going to change my font. I believe I was using, yeah. So I'm going to choose a font that you want. I'm going to increase the size, obviously, because that is too small. I think I'm just going to type it out to be 80. And I'm just using my keypad. All right, so let's see how that looks. You probably you can't see it right now, obviously, because it's the same color as the background. Uh, we're going to have to make it a little smaller. You see it's cut off right there. It's going under. So what we're going to do, just so I can see it, is I'm going to outline this as well. I want it to be the same color outline. Excuse me. I did shape outline. I'm going to do text box and text outline because you saw it outline the text box, not the text. So let me highlight my text and do an outline in the same color purple as the box that I set up here. You can see the words now. Let's bring them down because they're too large. Okay, so let's do this. Hit hyphenate it. If you go outside the text box and you have your settings set up that way, Publisher will hyphenate for you. Um, I want to do this a little smaller. I'll do like 70. 
All right, let's make sure both are 60 before we go any further. I'm going to have even text in this case. All right, wonderful. So I'm going to maybe even increase the size on this. Not that much, publisher. So let's just put it in. I'll probably go about 64. And again, I'm using that other one as a guide. It may not look exactly the same. Um, I'm going to do text outline. And I'm going to do it a little weightier, like a four maybe, three, four and a half. Yeah, see how that looks. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I don't like it so thick. Three. Let's see. Eh, it looks better, but I actually want to do something so that I can see the words more. So I'm going to bevel them so they kind of pop out. The inside, yeah, see like that's better to me. And I want this to be a little longer, so you cannot do that this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this away, move this to the side, and oops, grab the wrong thing. Be mindful of what you are selecting. I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to move that again I grabbed the wrong thing. All right. So, you know, the text doesn't look like it wants to be grabbed right now, but that's okay. Just a little patient. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to move it out the way. I like it, but I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use word art. Insert word art. I'm just going to select any one because I'm actually going to remove the effects. Oh, it already said happy birthday, but I'm going to do it for you all. I'm going to choose my font. And the fun thing about word art is you can manipulate it a little bit more than the text box. And again, I'm not that much experienced in Microsoft Publisher. I use um, Photoshop mainly. So if you see something or would like to make a suggestion or ask a question, don't hesitate to do it. Um, and, and you may do yours differently than how I do mine. That's fine. There's always more when, more ways to skin the cat. All right. So I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to do this. I'm going to fill it with the bib. And I'm going to use the same color. The shape bib. I'm going to remove the effects. Just make sure there's no effect there. And the outline is up. Now it'll be heavier. So, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to build it to the Yep. Um, I don't like that. So, what do um, Let's bring the outline up a bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, cool. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to type out my name. Doing the same thing. I'm going to do word art instead of a text box. Uh, Alicia. And I'm going to use the same I always use my transform controls. You all can use whatever you use. Right over. I'm going to take it here. I'm going to actually turn it some more. I'm going to expand it. Bring it down. Love it. Love it. And let's see. Bring it out a bit. All right. So this actually still has effects on it. So I don't want anything that is an effect on this. I want to make sure it's basic. So the outline, I want it to be that. And I want it to be weightier. Oh, yeah, I like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the shape with a picture. Just like we filled our shape for the background. I'm going to do a file. I already have my file saved, as I mentioned to you all. And I'm going to use a pattern. I'm going to use this pattern. I love pattern fills. If you don't know, now you know. So shape effects. I think I'm going to maybe bevel it, or I might just give a little shadow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do a little something real quick.
I don't want it to be maybe tabs four. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right. So then what I might do even is give this a little glow. Like I was telling you in the other video, I like the little glow effects on these. Looks like we're having a party. No, I don't like that one. So I'm going to take that off. Um, I'm going to put on this shape, however. And I'm actually going to bevel this shape out a little bit because I don't want it to have some depth to it. I told you all I do a lot of beveling. One day I'll figure out a an effect that I like more. In the meantime, this is what I love. Um, that's too much of a glow. I think I'm going to bring it down a bit that one and yeah perfect all right and i want to go back to the other chip bag that we did see what we have all right so we have a few squiggles we have some more shapes here i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna switch windows i think i'm working on this one okay so I'm going to insert some more shapes. Hmm. This one looks good. This is what we were using. Keep it kind of consistent. And I'm going to put that one. Again, this might not look exactly like the other one I did, but I'm going to try to get as close as possible. And I'm going off memory right now. And I'm just going to copy this. Control C, Control V. And I'm going to flip this one. I'm going to rotate it 90. And then another 90. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to bring it down here. So it's kind of like asymmetrical a bit. And then I'm going to put a number inside of it. Yeah. I'm going to put in... Um, uh, you could do this a variety of ways. I'm just going to use a text box right now. And I'm going to write the number three. I'm going to use a different font. I don't want to use that one. And uh, what font do I want to use? I'm trying to recall what I used before. All right. I'm going to make this at about 48. Oh, got to highlight it. 48. We're going to have to go bigger, and that's fine. Um, 72. Um, yeah. We still need to go a lot larger. So let's do um, 96. And I'm going to go up higher than that. Okay, cool. That's what I want. I'm um, going to bring it over. I'm going to flip it like that, and I'm going to move it. And what you can do again, like I did before on the other video, is to center them. There we go. I'm going to turn it just a little bit because I don't like the way it's angled right now. All right, great. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to change the text on this one to say zero. Because that is the 30th birthday. And bring it over to, uh -oh. I'm actually not even going to go the long way with this one. I dragged the wrong thing. What I'm going to do is grab to zero. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to center them. <laughs> Trickery. Publisher said, nope, not moving that far. That's okay. I can move myself. Right about there. Maybe up a little higher. 
small thing to shake down a little further. Right there. All right. So I don't like where this is. I'm going to um, let this thing think. There it is. See? Does not want to move the zero. You guys notice that? It's okay. There's always a ramp in the bush. Yeah. And again, I don't use a mouse. So if you're using a mouse, you'll probably be a lot better off than I am because you can get more finite with a mouse. I'm grouping this just so I can stop grabbing that. I'm going to group all of this over here because it's already done. Okay, now back to my zero. I'm going to move this shape. And there it is. I think, nope, that's not where I want it. I want it down a little bit and over. Okay, perfect. That's where I want it. Group it. And it's forward. All right, so I'm going to play with this shape a little bit. See where I want it in relation to the three. I love that. Okay, awesome. So here, here, group that so I can move it together. And I'm going to bring it up there. I make it a little smaller. Yeah. All right. So one of the things I'm going to do is not ungroup it all because I want to mess with the um, text. And I don't want it to be black. I want it to be another color. So format, text fill. I think I want that pink. And I like to use just a lot of the colors that are in this already. No need to go and, you know, get too elaborate for myself. I'm going to go back to the text fill, fill again with the same pink. I had a, I believe a bevel on this too. So overused. All right. And put that here. I think, all right, I'm going to change this color, but I have to decide what I want it to be. So I'm going to stretch this out a little bit so you can actually see the zero. Bring this up. Ungroup. Yep. Bring this one up a bit. There we go. And let's see. I'm going to bring this one down a bit and over. Now that I messed with it a little bit, I need to fix it up some more. All right, so I'm going to do this. There we go. One, two, group. All right, now for my um, clip art that I want to add in, I already have it, as I mentioned, in a file. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. Insert a picture. And I'm going to go back to my folder. Here we are. I'm going to do these, this gold chain. Bring it down a little bit. And just flip it a little bit. Manipulate it some. I'm going to pull it up here like the other invitation has. Yep, just like that. And I'm going to send that backwards. I'm going to send that backwards. If it wants to listen, <laughs> send it backwards. All right, cool. And I'm going to actually um, come and put a little weight on this because I want it to blend in with the back of what is going on there. Oops, I will ungroup it and do it. Sorry, I always get ahead of myself a little bit. You have to ungroup it so it can pick up what you need. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to 
get the back of that shape, not the three. I want the shape and I want the outline to be weighted at about four and a half. And I want the color to be the purple again. I think for a good fill color, I'm going to show you, I haven't filled it in yet, I'll show you why, um, because I want to pull a color in from some of the clip art that I'm using. Um, shape outline again, four and a half. All right. All right. So, um, I need the color to be correct. And I need to bring that forward. All right, cool. So um, another piece of clip art that I want to insert, I'm going to grab it, is this boom box. I'm going to pull her down, him, whatever the name is, and bring it right there. Make it a little smaller. Here we go. Yeah, and then I'm going to pick up the colors, like I said, um, on from my clip art to replicate throughout my chip bag because I want those to be, you know, for it to be cohesive. All right. And this thing is not wanting to move. There it is. Cool. There we go. All right. So. I want to change the shape color now on these shapes. I want it to be uh, sampled from this. Yep, and I think on here, I'm gonna bring in a little yellow. From here, uh oh. That's not the right, I don't have the right things like the apologies. All right, here. Here, shape fill. And I want to do a sample fill color again. I think I'm going to use that color. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to add in another piece of clip art, a few more pieces just to give the bag some, some fun and on the front, I'm going to bring this down, and bring that over, I'll make that up there, some little 80s glasses, and put that here, I'm going to put a effect on it, uh, I'm going to use that same color I've been using. So you see how it looks like it's just expanding off of there. I'm going to group all of these again so that if in case it moves, I don't have to worry about that. And give a little glow. All right. I'm trying to see. Ooh, too much. Yeah, I don't want it to have that glow color, actually. I wanted to have that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, and then for this is good, I'm going to insert my squiggles. Here we go. I'm going to bring that. I'm going to recolor this. I want it to be, I think I want it to go with this color. Um, that might be a little too light. We'll see. I'll bring that down. And I'm put him over here. This bag is a little different from the one I showed you just because of the size of the text and everything, but that's okay. I'm going to work with it. And I'll bring that here. I want that to have a shadow on it. Yeah, I want it to have a shadow, but I want it to be a little further away. And 
I want the color to change as well. So here's what I'm going to do. Shadow. Um, I'm going to do shadow. I'm going to do this one. So I want it under it. I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to do picture effects. I'm going to go back, do options. I want the color to be gray. And I want the distance to be a little further. I think 36 is too far. Yeah. So I'm going to change that up to about 12. And let's play with it. Probably about 14 seems good. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, I'm actually going to change the color of this again because I don't like it. It's too light. Use the dark one. Nope, one more. Um, let's do uh, more colors. Let's do a darker purple. Yeah. Right here. Nope, still not the color I need. Um, that's okay. Let's do. I'll go back to this one, but you know, you can play with it as you so please. And let's see. I actually might make these things a little smaller, but I like it. Um, I feel like it's missing something right here, but that's okay. What I can do. Just come here and I can always expand that out a little bit, yeah, to fill in some of the space. And then what I could do is ungroup this. I can ungroup this completely and I can make this larger, the numbers. I'm going to increase the text size on that. Yeah, see, that looks better. You know, you get to play with it as you so please. Um, this is not the final bag, so you guys have your own creativity behind you. I'm just going to undo this because I don't want to play with this anymore. I want to move on to the next part. And, all right. So, um, next. I am going to create the sides. I'm going to fill shape again. I just right-clicked. You could do, excuse me, don't do that. Do format, shape, fill, picture. Again, these are the same steps, pretty much repetitive to do this stuff. I apologize for any background noise. Um, all right, pattern. I'm going to use the same pattern I pulled in for the name. Um, format, shape, fill. And you can use this. I'm just going to fill it, picture, that's what, oops, yep. I apologize again, you guys, for any background noise. Um, people are being a little in their nighttime routines, so we're going to let them be great. I just really need to get this video done. Um, I'm going to pull this forward so it's over the gold chain. And... What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to format. That looks all good. And she's fine. All right. So um, next, I'm going to insert a square. I'm going to do it like the same size as our page. This is just how I do this. You all may have a different way. All right, back out. Make this the same size as a page. Da -da. It doesn't matter how big it is. It really just needs to be 8.5 by 11. And a little bit more, like 8.75. Let's do 8.75, 11.5. All right, great. So. Um, I just accounted for the margins, that's all. But it doesn't matter how large this is because it's only going to print what's on the page. So I'm just going to send that backwards. I'm going to send it all the way to the back. Oh my gosh, those just 
noise in the background. I'm gonna shape fill it. I think I'm gonna make this a pink color. Wonderful. So, you know, that's my bag. I'm actually gonna make this 8.5 because I want you all to see it. All right, so there we go. Um, trying to think what I want to do next. Next, I want to write out what's on the side of this on the sides because I usually put a little, you know, thank you for coming or something like that. So I'm just going to insert, I do word art again, and say thank you. No, say you're all that and a bag of chips. Ha ha. Um, this one, we're going to use the font that I used on the back. Same font I used on the invitation. And I'm going to grab her. I'm going to bring this over. And I'll pull it up. And... That's my middle, and I'm gonna center it. Cause I'm gonna make sure it's aligned. All right, and I wanna take out the word arch. Um, I wanna make this pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna use purple. I'm gonna take off my effects cause I don't want them to have any effect on this one. I want to determine for myself what the effect should be. All right, let's see. Okay, and so I think I'm gonna change the color, but I said let's put a little outline on it first just to see. Okay, there we go, I love it. Okay, and I'm trying to think if I should bevel it or if I should just, that looks pretty cool. You know, you guys can come up with it as you please, but I'm gonna take that off and I'm just gonna put a little, uh, I'm going to put a little glow around it. Again, it's like I'm having a 90s glow party or something. Yeah, that works for me. It's a little hard to read right now, I think. So, you know, you but you can play with this as you want. And then I'm going to do something different. I'm going to insert another word art style. Because I want to try, you know, something new. I haven't done this before. Say thank you for coming. Thunderstorm. Da -da -da. Same font as above and earlier. And here's my word art. I'm gonna bring it down. I think I want this to have again no effects on it. And I want it to be um yellow because i like to pull in as many colors as i can you know so that it's pierce cohesive within the bag and there we go uh -oh, where is it there it is i don't like the outline on this one so i'm going to change it up a bit and bring it in some. Uh oh, I did that too much. Excuse my dog. Uh, let's see. Bring it down. And I'm going to bring it up. And um, bring it over a little bit. Yeah. I don't want that outline. I'm gonna say no outline. Ooh, it needs an outline. Let's see what we can come up with here. Yeah, that's better. And you wanna just make sure you're able to read it. So this is just some things for you guys. On the other side, I'm going to um, 
yeah, on the other side, I'm just going to insert my, uh, right, I'm going to insert a picture of a nutrition facts. I create these custom. I didn't modify this one, so it says fourth birthday. But if I was doing this for a customer, it would have something unique to them. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to center it. Silly, silly, silly. One, two. Center it. That's okay that it moved. I'll just move it back. Make sure it's in a proper place um, before you go and center it, or it's going to move like it just did for me. It's trying to center it outside of here. So let me move you inside of this, and now I can center it. There we go. And I'm just going to insert another picture. of this and we'll pull them over here just so I can not have so much white space with that around because that white part is not necessary um I don't want that. Actually, I don't want this anymore. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to add the text of the um, dates. Put my birthday. Change it up so it looks like a little barcode. You can put whatever is here. You know, your chip bag that you want to put. And, uh, all right, barcode, and I think I'm gonna go about 72. Let's see how big we can get. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna center this. I'm gonna make the text box a little smaller. Yeah, and I'm gonna center it. And I didn't select them both. Sorry about that. Just center all of these. Okay. And you could add any effects or change the color as you so please, but that's my chip bag. I noticed one thing here. It got cut off a little bit, but um, just have to, I believe, expand the text box. Yeah, the text box is too short. So we're going to expand that out a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to save it as normal. And, you know, you can save it as a um, PNG, however you want to save it. I'll save this as a JPEG real quick. You know, these chip bag. And that's my bag ready for printing. So um, it's also ready for a mock up, which is our next thing we're going to do. And this mock-up file is available for purchase. See the three is cut off here too. And that, all right. Save it again. All 
All right, so while that's saving, my PowerPoint is open. Um, I am going to not worry about this over here because I have what I need. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my bag we just made. And I'm gonna actually bring in three copies of this. I'm just gonna copy it. Um, twice. All right. So I'm going to crop this one. So I get the middle. And you'll see these bars come up. And I'm just going to crop the middle out. Oh no, I just noticed that my gold chain went too far. That's okay. Another thing you could do is make the background a pattern. I didn't do that. Oh, I'm going too short. Okay. I uh, want the full bob. There we go. Crop that. That's my middle. I'm going to crop the left. And I'm going to crop the right. I need to say crop. All right. So now I have my middle of my chip bag, my left and my right. I'm going to combine these two together with a little bit of space between them. And that's how it's going to look when you print it. I'm going to group that. And I'm going to take this, control C, or copy it. I'm going to come to my mock-up. I'm going to fill it. And actually, I'm going to do format. Well not letting me right now. Here we go, format shape. All right, you click format shape, do picture or text field, control V. I wanna format the shape, not the background. Picture or texture field, clipboard. You'll see it comes in. We're just gonna assemble our bag and that's that. I'm gonna group everything together. I have one the front of my bag. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to control C that. Come here. I'm going to do the same thing. Picture. The clipboard. There it is. Assemble my bag. And group it. And that's the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back. You can go to either slide. You can make a new image or something, whatever you want. I'll control V it. Uh, let's group this again. There we go. I'm gonna control C that one. And I'm gonna come here, control V, and now I have a full mock-up. So, um, you can add more background, you can do as you please, you can say this as a PNG, um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, talk to you later.